Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in. This is Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 119. What to do when you do know what to do. So this is part two. Last week's podcast was what to do when you don't know what to do. Only one word difference, don't and do. So what to do when you do know what to do. Sounds like an easy thing. I know you're just going to say, and hopefully you are just going to say, just do it, just pull the trigger, get it done. If you do know what to do, then what is keeping you? This is a totally different problem from last week's. I know it's easier to be more sympathetic and uh, have empathy for those who genuinely don't know what to do um, in comparison to somebody that does know what to do and just isn't doing it. So what to do when you do know what to do. Now, all of us have certain things going on in our lives and we know what to do, but we're just still not doing it. Um, Whether it's up to you to personalize these podcasts, I'm talking in generalizations or I'm attempting to without tripping myself up too much, but it's up to you to personalize the situations to yourself as to whether it's a problem you're trying to escape, whether it's something that you're looking to do, achieve or have. What is that thing that you need to be doing and that you're not doing? So this is the ultimate procrastinators question. And all of us are procrastinators. I don't care how goal achieving you are. I don't care how dedicated you are. You can have a big list of goals, but there's certain things that year on year, you won't make any strides towards. You might be achieving lots in other areas, but there's certain things you'll be procrastinating over. And it's easier said than done saying, you know, just do it and pull the trigger and all that kind of stuff. But there's reasons why you're not. And there's reasons why you're not doing what you you know you should be doing. And a lot of it boils down to a lack of confidence and a lack of motivation that you might think the task at hand, as I said, whether it's a task of doing stuff or whether it's a task of escaping stuff, you might find that the task at hand is very overwhelming. And you, the, probably the biggest area that, that makes people procrastinate or makes people not do what they should be doing is the fear of failure and the waiting for conditions to be perfect, waiting for certain situations to be perfect to try to achieve it in a way that's not realistic. So all that kind of um, in Instagram super lifestyle image that you may have in your head of, you know, when it's like that, that's when I'll do such and such, or that's when I'll put such and such into action. And these situations just don't happen. Success doesn't look like, you know, this, this standing on a, a, on the podium, holding up the first place trophy. That's the, that's the end of success. That's the, that's the fruits of your labor, which, and you mightn't even actually get that kind of, um, recognition. It may, it may not even occur like that, but the actual road to success is dirty and gritty and not glamorous at all. It's tough. It's full of hardship. Take the hardship now, do the hard things now, so that in the future, when possibly you're less able to do the hardship, you can hopefully enjoy the fruits of your labor. So do now what you know needs to be done. The longer you put anything off, the harder it will be to pull the trigger, the harder it will be to get beyond the procrastination. Now, if the timing of it genuinely isn't right, you know, so be it. But you know, and I know, we could be just kidding ourselves saying the timing isn't right. And really, the timing will never be right. So therefore, it will never get done. You'll never do it. So it's very important to separate the the timing with, is it really or is it just pure procrastination? You're putting it off due to lack of confidence, lack of motivation, due to fear of failure, fear of success, imposter syndrome, all of these. It's never the perfect time. You have to 
get used to the idea or certainly accept the idea that something is better than nothing and in the majority of cases something is better than nothing and the overall scheme of things maybe it won't work out as large as you hoped but certainly progress and any forward motion is better than if you hadn't taken any steps in the first place if you find it to be a totally overwhelming task to do what you know needs to be done, then break it down into small steps, small daily steps, like tiny steps. Um, if it was to do with writing a book, just opening the laptop could be your, your first goal. Not actually, oh, I'll write two pages tonight. Just opening it. Write the title. That's your only objective. Then from there, there will be momentum. That's just an example in one small area of how you can really make make the goals micro goals to actually spur you on to um, get larger amounts done. Whereas if you try to, you basically you'll overwhelm yourself. Start to finish. If you try to sit down and write a whole novel, I mean, it's going to be a very, very overwhelming task. I'm not saying there aren't people that can do it, but for the majority of people, it's make the micro goals and make it smaller, more manageable things that will spur you on to more momentum. Um, so break them down into smaller, more manageable chunks. Seek out those who are in the know. So don't just get guidance or advice from any Joe Soap from your friend in the pub after a couple of pints who's more than willing to give you advice about things that they've never lived themselves and they have no idea um, about what the hell they're talking about. But seek advice from those who've achieved what it is you're looking to achieve or survived what it is you're looking to survive or have what it is you're looking to have. Seek proper advice. Now, it doesn't have to be a one-on-one. -on -one. It can just be an email. But there are many people willing to help their, their fellow man and woman um, on their path through life. So don't be afraid to, to seek out those. They, they, they may not be as unapproachable as you may think. And it's very important that you get good advisors, good mentors that actually know what they're talking about. I can't stress that enough. There's no point in talking to a plumber about electrical work or vice, work, or vice versa. Yeah, they'll have the information. I'm sure a plumber knows about electrics, but it's not really the person that you should be going to if you have a problem with your fuse board. Apologies for the, the building analogy, um, but you, you get exactly what I mean. Seek out those in the know if you're looking to be in the know and you're looking to do what it is you know what to do. Um, I'll give you a quick uh, fighting reference, and that is when you're in a fight and the kicks and punches are being thrown and you see an opening, you see an opportunity, or a guard is dropped, or you know, rib a rib shot is, is open and ready, you don't think about it. Fighting, you're not in a conscious frame of mind, so you actually don't have the ability to procrastinate the way you do in everyday life. You basically have to strike, you have to go for it. If you put it off, then it's going to be a missed opportunity. Um, you don't use logic to counteract what you know you should be doing. You just do it. As soon as it enters your head and you see that opportunity, you go for the opportunity. You don't stand back and think, well, hang on a second, but what if it doesn't work? And what if they block? And what if they get more angry? You don't have that luxury in the middle of a fight. But obviously in everyday life, we have loads of time to justify why we shouldn't do stuff and to use logic and to talk our way out of things. Um, and... And if it is that you're looking to achieve something or do something and you're looking to take action, that isn't the frame of mind you need to be in. You need to give yourself every opportunity to succeed, every opportunity to go forward, every opportunity to do what it is that you know needs to be done. So if there's anything in your mind, as I've talked about, as I've talked throughout this podcast, if there's any actually burning thing in your mind that it's almost filling you with regret that you're almost you're listening to this going oh, i really should do this or i really should do that or i have a regret over this or, or a regret over do that put it down on paper um and have a think about it make a few steps see what you can do see if you can finally a goal that you've had for the last five years ten years your whole life only the past week two days whatever it doesn't matter Think about it and see if you can get some kind of momentum going to and, and get started. What to do when you do know what to do is get started. Start small. Don't overwhelm yourself. Allow your confidence to build. Something is better than nothing. Seek out those who are in the know and can help you along the path. Don't Don't rationalize. Don't use logic. Don't talk yourself out of it. Don't shoot yourself down. Don't undermine yourself. 
write it down, finally take the time to pull the trigger, as we said at the start, pull the trigger and just just get started. Stop trying to envision this whole perfect scenario of when such and such is done and when so when the kids are gone to school and they're 18 and they've gone off to college or the, or when when I'm in the perfect health and I'm totally eating right and I'm training and I've lost all my weight that's what I'm going to do such and such whatever it is that you're limiting yourself whatever rules you've given yourself self-limiting rules you've given yourself preventing you from doing the next stage just forget about them and do that next stage i hope that's helped you hopefully hopefully it's given you something to think about or even an ounce of confidence or an ounce of motivation i'd be delighted i'd be happy that's all i'm trying to do and i would absolutely love your feedback so any questions any comments if i'm right if i'm wrong if you need any more guidance if you need help with your goals if you want to talk something through or if you want me to steer you in the right direction towards the subject matter that you're involved in absolutely hit me up anytime thank you for listening i'm roundhouse rob the success sensei life is a fight you can enjoy and win bowing out This has been the Success Sensei, fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.